Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs and welcome back to Empire's SMP. We stand before perhaps my greatest creation yet, the Ghast Farm. Actually not my creation at all, and once again thank you to Nembon for what a brilliant video on the mechanics of these Ghast Farms. It's done incredibly well. We now have so many shulker boxes of gunpowder and gas tears and stuff that I can take back to Pixandria and share with my allies. And I am contemplating going home to Pixandria. And it's not a decision I make lightly at this point because I still feel a tremendous amount of guilt over what we have done, but I feel like we are able to do more from the seat of power in Pixandria than we were able to do from the shadows. And the desert of the nether roof is somehow still unbearable to me as somebody who lives in a desert where I can see the sky every day. This is not the sky I want to see. I miss the sands of Pixandria. I miss the blue sky above me. I think we need to make a return. And that's not the only reason because I don't know if you've noticed, but the other empires on the server have been expanding constantly. Some of them are done with incredible builds. Some of them have expanded the borders of their territory to previously unforeseen limits. And I, I feel like I'm neglecting Pixandria if I spend a minute more away from the kingdom. Not only that, but some of my allies and my enemies may be expecting me to be at home. And what happens if one of my enemies turns up and the king is no longer there? The kingdom could be taken over. That's not something I want. And so the Copper King will have to return. I'm going to make the long flight back across the nether roof. And we're going to return to Pixandria today and hopefully meet the enemy at our doorstep before they have a chance to press that advantage. Oh, I have missed the desert sands. I have missed this place. And yes, the corruption has taken hold here. But I have a feeling we can do something about that in the near future. At least the corruption here is big enough that we can maybe run some experiments on it and see what happens if it reacts to certain materials? Because Lizzie said that sea lanterns can potentially have an effect on the corruption and have been keeping it away. Likewise, the water in the ocean empire seems to have a purity that cannot be corrupted, or at least the corruption has a harder time with it. Remember how hard the corrupted material got when it was in contact with copper? I have a feeling that will be a good place to start. But I don't know if I have time to figure all of that stuff out right now because Mythical Sausage said he was going to be over here from Mythland with some kind of present for me, and I need to hide all this gunpowder. Hello? Oh. Pixel Riffs, oh, hello! Look who it is. What are, you, oh. what are you doing here this time, Mythical Sausage? Oh, I just came over here. I'm passing by all of the Codvengers bases as a big old thank you for allowing us to be victorious and defeat the dragon. Oh, thank you so much for all that help. The big Mythical Sausage gloating tour, is it? I see what's up, oh, so... yes. Enjoy this barrel. And you're welcome. Uh, just, just a barrel? No, <laughs> like... I'm playing, I'm playing. You know what? Evil also has a sense of humor. Let me bring out my good stuff over here. Evil also but has wait. a sense of style. Like, what is going on with it? What, what are oh, you... Oh, this? The scythe? Is that regulation? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, uh, just this whole thing, you know, I just picked it up, you know, at the Dark Forge that I just created. It was great. Zornoff has been a very, very nice uh, demon to me. Very nice. I mean, nice demon is kind of a contradiction in terms, but we'll we'll see. Um, yeah. So so does that thing like is that good for harvesting wheat or? Uh, no, it's a soul eater. Okay, good, good to know. Yes. Uh, yep. Lovely to know that soul eaters are in circulation now. And just oh. a soul eater, it's no big deal. Oh, I see how this this is this goes. <laughs> and what what is the get the get this stuff out of here first of all. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that comes with... Okay, I got something else, a replacement. There you go. Oh, I just want to make it look pretty. There it is. Enjoy that goodie box as a thank you from the Dark Alliance. You're the greatest. Oh, and another thing, another thing. Um... You will be spared. Remember how you gave me that uh, trident a little while ago? Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, yeah. I was thinking about that. Do you want to come outside for a second, Mythical Sauce? Do you oh, want to yes. see, like, I, for, spared from what exactly? Because what the heck is this? Like, it, 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 it's no big deal. I, I spared. You know, if, there's only so much that I can do. You know, I don't have full control over, over yeah. the the big man. But you know, you will live 
to see another day. You know, the surrounding areas might suffer, but you're, you'll be fine. You personally will be fine. I feel like another, I don't know if I want to see another day, if another day is going to bring more giant red tentacles to my yard. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not entirely oh, happy nothing. with the state of play right now. You haven't seen what, what they're capable of. That's just the beginning. Don't come back here, Mythical Sausage. That's all I'm saying. Don't come back here. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fine. I'm everywhere at once. And of course, once Mythical Sausage has been here, the pillagers show up. I don't think that's a coincidence somehow, but I've been repairing a little bit of stuff. I've been gathering a few more resources, and I'm thinking... Where's... Where are the other... Where on earth are the other pillagers? There's a couple of them that I can hear, but I can't... Oh, <laughs> on the rooftop, like a real assassin. I see how it is. Well, I'd rather not put the citizens in danger, so let's see if we can just burn this guy. <laughs> I think that's probably the way to do it. There we go. Get out of here. Take your banner with you. So Mythical Sausage has been and gone. I do need to be a little bit faster triggering the security system, but maybe at least it showed there as a bit of a warning against coming back here again. So what I'm thinking we need to do is test out the properties of copper reacting to the corruption around here. So I'm thinking what we need to do is head down to the copper field down here, the copper aging facility. Let's recall any of the copper that we've got down here, most of which has aged now. It looks like there's still a couple standing out here, but let's give this a quick recall. And once all of this is collected, we'll position some of it around the outside of one of those tentacles, and we'll see if it has any effect on the corruption itself. And the age of the copper blocks didn't really seem to make a difference when it attempted to corrupt the entrance to my house before. So I'm hoping we can put whatever copper we have around the bottom of these tentacles and and we'll see if there's any kind of reaction. In the meantime, all of the gunpowder has finished filtering down into these chests, or near enough. I think it's on the last box right now. And look at this. Look at the amount of gunpowder we have in stock here. We've got plenty of gas tiers filtering through the system as well. It looks like we should have plenty of those in store. So I'm thinking we need to pay FWIP a visit and maybe negotiate the terms of a deal that can come to the mutual benefit of both of us. But for now, just in case this doesn't work out, I think we'll probably take the most remote of these corrupted tentacles, which is the one back here behind the foundry. I think I probably just want to put down a few blocks of copper around here. We'll put the oxidized stuff in here as well, and we'll see if we can maybe, I don't know, choke off the source of the corruption here as it's coming out of the ground. Kind of like we're applying a tourniquet to it, I suppose. Let's see if any of this will make a difference. We'll leave it for a little while and see if the reaction happens. There we go, a copper seal of sorts can be formed around it. But with that experiment underway, I think we need to head over to Catherine's because remember that creeper head that I acquired in the thunderstorm previously? I think she might be interested in that, plus some of the other mob heads I've got because I have quite the collection at this point and maybe, maybe that will convince her to become a more permanent ally of Pixandria after our initial interaction was a little bit more KG. I think we can come to an agreement and it's time to shore up our alliances for the good of Pixandria. Looks like the corruption has been here too. Ooh, wait a second. <laughs> is that is that corruption or is that something else? Uh, turns out it's both. But, wow. <laughs> Better, better stop by and see what Pearl's up to a bit later. But for now, we have a meeting with House Blossom. Uh, knock knock? Hello? Anyone home? Hello? Hello? I can hear you, but I can't I'm see downstairs. you. Ah, oh, there I'm you are. Downstairs. Wait, where are you at? I'm, I'm at the gates. Ah, oh, there you are. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, I see you have, uh, you have red tentacle problem too. <laughs> yeah, I do. Ugh, Yikes. It's a mess. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Speaking of messes, you... uh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I find myself in a bit of a mess. Um, and I feel like you out of everybody <laughs> you were you were the person who had you had everyone's best interests in mind <laughs> with the whole dragon fight thing i remember you you left oh. <laughs> you, you kind of you kind of left our group and then you were like oh i'm gonna just go and hang out over here and then you arrived with the heroes basically who were trying to save us all from yeah from red we all learned that it was a bad situation so i was trying to help yeah and i i now find myself in a position that i need to make alliances because goodness me Aww. i was i was a little bit cagey about that before i wasn't sure which way yeah, the wind you was were. blowing I, I'm, uh -huh. and i i <laughs> i come to you a changed and repentant man catherine 
Oh, okay, okay. So I have a proposition for you of sorts. We have... Mm -hmm. We have access to a type of mob head that you can't actually get any other way. You know, you've been you've been killing mobs and they drop like all sorts of heads. Like I have a yeah, bunch yeah. of these. Whoa. I, I have <gasps> so many, have... so many oh. drowned heads. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's I, amazing. If you, if you happen to have a use for like 12 stacks of drowned heads, <laughs> that is literally <laughs> how many I have. Um, I can make you a plushie. That would be awesome. I would like a drowned plushie. Did you, did, did, have you heard about my plushie business? I, I kind of have. I, I heard it sort of yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, come here, secondhand. Come here. I need to see this, this operation in action. This is the building and this is an example of a plushie. <gasps> That is adorable. Oh my goodness, the sheep. What if we, we swap it for so a creeper? Now it's you, slightly less adorable. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that one if back. You would like, um, if you would like one, just let me know which one. I can make it for you. Oh, heck yes. A little plushy husk would be perfect for my desert sure. kingdom, actually. Like one of these guys. But, um, sure. but I was thinking I could help out the plushy business because exclusive mob uh. heads uh, seems like a, uh, yes. a, a fun deal we could work out. In, in How do you even get those? That that is that is something that I have to keep partly secret. But if we have oh. a th if we have a thunderstorm, if a thunderstorm mm -hmm. happens to happen through, I I should add through, not demonic means. I I may have a way of starting a nice positive one of those uh, thunderstorms, one, one of those not nice, a creepy one. Exactly, one a, of those a good nice, thunderstorms. Peaceful thunderstorm. Yes, a, a nice yes. peaceful thunderstorm <laughs> in which we can blow up a bunch of mobs using charged creepers. Uh, and I happen to uh -oh. have I happen to have a way of uh, of getting getting some of those. I mean, oh! so so I'm thinking. I have never in my life seen a charged creeper in Minecraft. Okay, naturally, <laughs> we're gonna change that today. We are going to change oh, that no! today. So so yeah, like we can we can do this a couple of different ways. First of all, um, mm -hmm. you could you could have the channeling trident, uh, oh, okay. and and you could charge creepers like from the safety of a treetop, say. And then I can run around yeah. and try and like lure them towards some mobs that we can blow up. Because as long as you can block with a shield, you don't take any explosion damage from the creeper. And so oh. as as long as I don't get too blowed up, we should be able to get zombie heads, creeper heads, and skeleton heads, which are the ones you can't get just <gasps> by just by chopping their heads off. Yeah, I don't have any of those. In to to make yes. amends for having yes, yes, yes. <laughs> having spurned your alliance before. Can we can we do this? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. Come you to... help me get these heads and I'll make you plushies. <laughs> Excellent. That sounds great. Come to the desert because uh, we kind of okay. need to start a thunderstorm out there and there's a lot of wide open space that we can use to to blow okay. some stuff up. But let me grab a bed so I can sleep. Hold yeah, on. yeah, good good idea. I also have a mythical sausage head if you don't have one of those. <gasps> I removed my bed from this place already. Oh, oh my no. gosh. Can I never <laughs> put it back? Wait, I got to get one from my You're like, wait, wait, where do I sleep? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, before we go. Do you want to see my head collection? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, that'd be great. Have you have you seen it yet? I have not had a chance to explore your kingdom at all, so this would be a pleasure. <gasps> well, welcome, welcome. This is House Blossom. This is the first floor of my head collection. That's that's very cool. I like how everyone's <laughs> the emperor's heads kind of take pride of place over there and Yeah, uh, I thought it'd be cool to put them on that wall. Do you, you interested in in trading the mythical sausage head for uh, an exclusive assassin themed <gasps> mythical sausage head? <laughs> Oh sure, you want this one? Sure, yeah. Like I, it, okay, it would these, be nice to. These golems need a. Get <laughs> they out of my they way. are crowding it a little bit. They, they're appreciating the art. That's the important thing. Oh, that's limited edition right there. Absolutely, there you it's, go. it's got collectible value. <laughs> Thank you so so much. <laughs> if you go up the ladder, I have a second floor too. Oh goodness! Wow, I like I like uh -huh. the, the 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 angry wolf head. Looks kind of like a very mean <laughs> snowman. I kind of like that. Um, oh, and you've got all of the micro blocks and stuff. Oh. Yeah, I need to create more floors because I have a lot of tiny baby blocks. <laughs> so, and I'm kind of running out of wall space, but yeah, this is what I have. Tho so those are very cute. I've managed to trade a couple of those from the Wandering Trader. I have the deep, yeah. I have the deep slate emerald ore one and I was like, right, I'm done. <laughs> that's, that's the only one I really needed. <laughs> But no, that's super cool. Very, very nice. And I can see, yeah, you, you, you probably need to add a little bit more space if you have a bunch more. If this if this was my head collection, like all of the walls would just be covered in drowned heads. I have I have so many. <laughs> I did get a couple. I had a couple of drowned heads at one time because um they got in my XP farm somehow. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> they they have a tendency to get around it. It happens. Yeah.
All right, so uh, so follow me. It's going to be a bit of a flight, but we uh, we can head out to the desert and then we can do some some controlled explosions. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Okay. Hello. Hi. Uh, we're going to need to <laughs> choose a patch of the desert that doesn't have all of my builds in for this. But oh uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, bear with me. Also, yeah, if you want to come and check out my my uh, collection of heads in here. <gasps> yes because i have Where i have is this? i have this chest at the back it's not quite as fancy as yours but i do have a lot of different ones <gasps> so Whoa. if if you're at all interested in any of those like i've been trying to think of stuff i could do with them i haven't got a clue so uh <laughs> i think they're so cool uh, any of those this? any of those you want what is what <gasps> you've got some sheep Oh, you I, have a ghast? I do have a ghast, yeah. And a yeah. gold I, rabbit. I, I got a couple of those, actually. The uh, the ghast heads are pretty easy to come by. I have a ghast farm now, uh, which doesn't, oh, no way. doesn't give you the heads like by default, but I have a couple of those, so... Oh, that's cool. Yeah. If you want to take one, then feel free. The ghasts probably make <gasps> pretty easy plushies, actually, because you just gotta, like... Really? It's just like that. <laughs> you just gotta put them on a wall. I can has one? Yeah, go for it. Ah, oh, this is the best ally ship ever. <laughs> <laughs> brand, brand new alliance is already paying off. The um, way to my heart, animal heads. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird way to... Yeah, okay, fair enough. Uh, I'm, I'm going to... If you want to continue perusing the heads, I just need to go off and then uh, in a second the sky will darken and we'll, we'll be in the middle of a storm. Okay, okay, I'll wait here. All right. Okay, this is for an alliance with Catherine, so we better make this count. Here we go. Bring the lightning. <laughs> It looks so creepy outside. <laughs> yeah. All right. So come out to the uh, come out to the plains biome and uh, let's let's see what we can do here. Yeah, this is this is the one drawback to starting thunderstorms for this is that there are gonna be mobs everywhere. Uh, so so it's probably best if we do this over the river in a biome where it actually rains. The best thing for you to do here is to get up onto a tree. Go on a tree. Yeah. Then you will at least be protected from the creepers. Oh my um, gosh. Yeah. Okay. And so um, bullseye the nearest creeper you can with a trident. And uh, you'll see what happens. I missed. <laughs> it's a good throw. It'll come back. I missed again. Uh, if, I lure, ah! if I lure him towards us... <laughs> Wait, why am I so bad at this? I'll, I'll bring him in a little closer, and then I'll stand back. Oh! There we go. There we go. That's a charge Ooh! creeper. And now, if, looks I, so cool. if I stand here and block... Oh. <laughs> Did it drop anything? And now we should have a zombie head. Oh, no. <laughs> it blew up a creeper. So, so one of the creepers nearby actually got it. And you only get one head per charged creeper. So we got we got uh -huh. another creeper head from that one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry, it's sorry, sorry. That was really close. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I I will give you one one quick piece of advice. Uh, the lightning yeah. strike, if it kills stuff, can also destroy items because the lightning has like an area oh, yeah, of effect right. for it. So so maybe don't strike stuff with lightning when I'm standing right next to it. I'd really yeah, appreciate yeah, that. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> um, not not while I'm holding my my netherite pickaxe and stuff. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so bad it's okay i'll give you mine <laughs> it's all good uh so there's another creeper over there i can bring him a little bit closer we'll try and get a zombie head and a skeleton head oh. we're gonna absolutely wreck this plains biome but it's entirely fine <laughs> i'm also not wearing armor for this so i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing oh that's not good yeah but <laughs> i will I'll... keep all of the lightning away from you <laughs> that's that's good i appreciate that i will i will go and find another creeper and i'll bring him closer oh i see one They're right by the zombies i'll bring this guy over here the spiders i'm pretty sure spiders just drop heads on their own I think so. So, uh, yeah, give that guy a... Uh... I got him. All right. Oh. Now i got to stand here and be very, very careful to blow up the zombie. Ooh! Yeah, oh, we got one. Yeah. Oh, I fell out of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> fell out of the tree in excitement at getting a zombie head. <laughs> the tree is literally gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the other problem is uh, they do tend to destroy the trees. But uh, here you go. There's oh. a, there's the first the first zombie head of our alliance. Oh, ah! and... Mind the what? mind the, the baby, the baby. Husk. Ah, chaos. Oh. <laughs> Got it. All right, oh. the the zombie okay. head is up on the tree. Return there to safety. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. So we have that. We have the creeper head. Let's see if we can get hold of a skeleton as well, and then uh, we might need to call the thunderstorm off just for the sake of Jimmy, because <laughs> he's probably yeah. he's probably cowering in the swamp right now, thinking the demons invaded again. <laughs> Oh, I see creepers. Okay, so we have... Oh, yeah, yeah. We have some creepers over here. And there's I, one skeleton over there, and there's zombies. I think I can maybe get the skeleton. Oh, my God. There's so much. There's so much. 
Just don't charge the creeper yet. I'll try and give him the runaround. No, 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 I won't. I won't. I'm gonna wait till there's the skeleton's closer. Oh, there's an enderman freaking out! Yeah. There's an enderman freaking out! Oh my god! <laughs> I love them in the rain. They're so funny in the rain. We have like an entire zombie horde. You can do it. You can do it, I believe. It's doing this and not killing the creeper in the process that's the problem. Yeah. Oh, you've got- oh, you've got a lot more behind you. Like, seven, six. I can't count, but there's a lot. <gasps> that scared me. It looked like you died for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I just like flopped over with the elytra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now they're coming for me. Hello, zombies. They got up to my tree. What the heck? They're literally climbing the trees. What is this horror film? This has become a tower defense game at this point. Protect the Catherine. <laughs> I have a flame bow, but it doesn't do any extra damage because they're all in the rain. Aww. Okay, I think I got the zombies. You did it. Oh my gosh. There are still a couple under the tree, but I can take care of them. Okay. Got a skelly. Come all right, you a charge, bit. charge that creeper over here. And mm -hmm. then, and then I can lure that skeleton in and we'll do our best. Nice. Got it. Hey, you're, you're getting good at that. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's bring this creeper over to the skeleton. In fact, if we can get the skeleton to shoot the creeper, we might actually be able to uh, to get the oh. creeper to blow it up on its own. The difficult part here is I don't have a shield anymore. Oh no. So I'm gonna get blown up regardless. I think at this point, but it's don't, okay. We can do it. Wonder. We can do it in the name of Alliance. <laughs> Basically, as soon as this creeper blows up, uh, I need you to sleep so that I can come back and get my stuff. Oh. Here we go. For the Alliance! Oh. No! Oh, I got a record! What? I got a record no. out of that! No! Wait, what was that? It just died. <laughs> the skeleton shot it. I need, to, I need to go and get my shield. I need to go and get a shield so we can do this properly. Oh! You know what? Never mind. I was prepared to die for this alliance. I'm still prepared to die. Let's do this. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's funnier. It's funnier for the video if we do this. <laughs> All right. At least the sun is coming up, so we have a little bit more light to work with. There is... Yeah. It's not that... Whoa! There's oh. a creeper. <laughs> oh. That wasn't even a charged one. Thank god. I think I saw one over here, over this way. Uh, mm. Oh, there's a creeper there, and there's a skeleton right next to it. So if you can get up on a tree over here and charge this... Oh, okay. Charge this creeper over here. He's now following me around. Okay, ready? Go. Nice. All right, here we go. This is it. Get him. Take two for the alliance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. When I see the head, I see it. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now we need to stop the zombies from picking up all my stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna murder them right now. Thank you. There's gonna be a zombie walking around wearing my oh. elytra. <laughs> Ouch. No, your elytra's still here. Hey, thank you. But we got Ooh. all of them, right? We got a we got a skeleton head, we got a zombie head, and there's probably two creeper heads over there. You can have both of them if you want. <gasps> yes. Because uh, if you have a spare creeper head, you can make like banner patterns out of it and everything. So. Uh, really? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's worth having two of them. That. Oh, some of my stuff is down in this cave and I don't want to get it because it stuff might kill me. Oh yeah, your trident's down there. <laughs> yeah, I might, <laughs> might need to keep hold of that, I think. <laughs> Alright, I'm good, I'm good. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. We we have absolutely ruined this plane's biome. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It was worth it. Absolutely worth it. Why do you have a nether portal on top of a creepy corrupted vine thing? Oh, um, <laughs> I needed to get to the nether roof and... <laughs> Uh, I need so I needed a portal that was like high up enough that it would link to above the nether roof and and so I put it up there and I was like it looks like this thing is holding a monocle or something right <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's it does it's it's suddenly a very posh tentacle <laughs> I feel kind of weird about that but here we go all right so uh, so come back inside just in case there's any still any uh, creepers and stuff around but we have two creeper heads and a skeleton head all oh, yours. That's so cool. Hey, I got a recipe unlock. Yeah, you should be able to, if you craft a, a creeper head together with paper, then you can turn it into a, a creeper banner pattern, and then you can make all, so cool. all kinds of cool shapes that you can't get otherwise. Oh, 
That's yours, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it was very nice to. Oh, and I tell you what, you can have the music disc as well. <laughs> that was. What is this? That was uh, when the skeleton shot the charged creeper earlier. It dropped a record. Uh-huh. So, uh, like when really, a, when a skeleton kills a creeper, then that happens. Yeah. So if they get the final <gasps> hit on a creeper, they drop music disc. How is there so many things I don't know about this game? I've been playing it for so long. What the heck? <laughs> There's always stuff to learn. This. this it's, it's That's so cool. Full of surprises. Oh, that's mm-hmm. so cool. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. And and hopefully this uh, can make amends for my my misdeeds of the past and you know, if you That's uh, okay, you're all good now. <laughs> if if you need if you need any help or if you need any more mob heads, you know who to call. Thank you. No worries. It's been fun. <laughs> Have a safe flight. <laughs> I'm going to go listen to this music disc. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go craft another shield. <laughs> Oh my goodness, after <laughs> after everything that's happened, that was probably one of the most fun things I've been able to do. And yes, it did lead to a couple of deaths. I actually died one time before I got over to Catherine's, which is why I had no levels once I got there. But I think I owe the Vigil another candle for that death. And I need to update everything here because I think a lot more has happened. So I need to get more accurate death counts from everybody but before we wrap up this episode i have been repairing a few of my tools getting some more xp back and i need to go and take a look at what's going on over here because we left this tourniquet around here and it looks like yeah no it has been having an effect that's okay this whole area down here has kind of hardened up into this nether brick like material so that's that's something, at least. It doesn't seem to have spread to the rest of the tentacle, though, so there's clearly something sustaining the rest of it from the inside. Whatever dark force this is needs a little bit more than that, but it's good to know that copper seems to affect it in in some way or another. So I don't know how we're going to do it, but I think there could be a way of destroying this entire tentacle using copper somehow. I'm gonna go away and think about that. You guys have a think about it as well and let me know what the possibilities could be. But for now, that is gonna be it for this episode of Empire's SMP. I hope you've enjoyed some of the fun that we had today with Catherine. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, bye for now.